I'm called Union Pacific 844, or 844 to the rail fans, but you can call me Lars, the 844. Those are my friends. Well, one of them. Bruce, the 4014, and Chris, the 395. And I'll be explaining what it's like staying Cheyenne with these two, and having friends visiting here, and having a new member here. Now, what's it like living Cheyenne? Boring, that's all. But, it is sometimes fun over here, from time to time. Sure, sure, whatever you say, pal. Oh, back off, man. Anyway, the visitors that come to Cheyenne are mostly rail fans, but sometimes my friends come to Cheyenne, like Daniel, Omar, and Anderson. So that's what happened? Yeah, I swear I still hate him for doing that. At least Chris is not as bad as Norbert. Who's that again? The 611. Oh, him! Yeah, he's not really nice at all. Tell me about it. Because this one time I was in the east and Norbert just wouldn't shut up. Man, look at you, Daniel, in your ugly ass paint. Why did you even choose to wear that paint scheme Shut anyway? It up. looks like trash on you. Choose some nails. Oh to my wear. fucking god! Shut the, the fuck up, you ugly looking, looking bullet! Yeah, that conversation could have gone better. But it really didn't at all. Eh, don't let him get to you, Daniel. I won't. Anyway, I gotta head back to Oregon. I'll see you later, Lars. Alright, see ya. Oh, Devin, hey. I need you to do me one small favor. My god, Lars, what is it now? Okay, I need you to pull one small freight train for me. Why can't you do it? Because me and Daniel are going somewhere. Just do this once, Devin. I promise we will be back in a few minutes. Fine, fine, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Thanks, Devin. You truly are a lifesaver. Say the front was small, so it shouldn't be that long. What the actual? Do you think we should help Devin? Nah, he'll be all right. Oh, come on, Dad, Devin. Why does this front gotta be so goddamn heavy? Oh my God! Now we get to Chris, and we already know how he is. Lars, shut up and let me sleep! But the time he wasted my money? Oh, he really got what was coming to him. But at the end, both of us ended up getting wrecked with small damages, which was worth it, but not really. You are dead! know that? Oh, I know, but you're forgetting that I'm stronger than you. I can easily beat the shit out of you. We'll see. Uh ah! Chris. Yeah? We must never speak of this again. Agreed? Agreed. But I technically did win that fight, so you didn't, so HA! In your face! 
Why, you little! Ah, fuck! Okay, damn, chill! Man, when will these two ever learn? Probably never. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is gonna be hilarious. Hey, Lars! Catch, bitch! Huh? Oh, you, oh, God! Dick! Ha! Weak! Man, Chris, you are such a child. Ah, quit talking and go back to sleep, you old timer. God. And now we get to Bruce the 4014. Good morning, Lars. Oh, morning, Bruce. That's Bruce the 4014, aka the world's largest steam locomotive. Unlike Chris, he's more mature and a lot more nicer than that dumb challenger. If I'm being honest, he's kind of like a father figure to me and Chris. All right, Lars, let's go. Make sure you stay safe out there, Lars, and let me know if something happens. I will, Bruce. Oh my god, give me the auxiliary tender, Chris. Nah, go find one yourself, lazy. I was literally the first one who got that tender before you did. Sure, 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 whatever you say, man. Chris, just give Lars the auxiliary tender before you get in trouble with the manager. Ugh, fine, Bruce. Ah, uh ha. -huh. Okay, Lars, I'll be gone for a bit. Make sure Chris doesn't do anything dumb. Oh, I will. Oh, how I fucking hate you. And I hate you too. And both of you guys need to show some respect around here. Bruh, Alex, no one asked you for some respect. Now go back to sleep, old man. <laughs> Oh, good one, Lars. <laughs> you both really need to show some respect to your elders, you know that. I could care less. Hmm. I wonder what those two are doing. Oh, God! There is a CNJG Free Pacific. You might have heard of them, but if you haven't, let me explain who that is. That is Ronaldo, the 821 Blue Comet, or as people like to call him, the Red Comet, or the Killer of the Northeast. Now, why do people call him that? Well, it's because he's well known for killing innocent locomotives and that he is covered in the blood of his victims. All of us thought that he was dead, but we were wrong, as we saw him arrive in Cheyenne. But he didn't want to kill us. Instead, he felt like he had no joy in his soul. Instead, he 
want to stay here in Cheyenne with me and the others. So we let him stay. And so far, things are already getting weird. Morning, Ronaldo. Wait, what are you doing? Nothing at all. Um, okay. Uh, hey, dude, I believe you're in my spot. I don't see your name, so just leave me be. Bro, get out of my spot or you're gonna get beat up tonight. I said, leave me be. Uh, okay, okay. I'm out of here. Damn. Um, Ronaldo, you're in my way. Go on the other track. But you're on my track. I said go on the other track. Okay, 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 calm down. So far, the dude is already scaring us. But honestly, I don't blame him. He's been through a lot. Plus, he just got here, so let's just give him a tour of Cheyenne when he's not down. Okay. Fine by me. I just hope we can cheer him up and hope he feels better again. Ronaldo, it's getting dark. You should head back to the roundhouse. Don't worry, I'm on my way. And you, please don't cause chaos for me and my new friends. Um, who are you talking to? Don't worry about it. <laughs> 